the rap round table. So, since it in a group chat, because a lot of times the group chat be where a lot of these conversations spawn from before they get on <laughs> wax. Who said in the chat that, uh, you know, yeah, why, why you had to make it public that I threw this in the chat? That's what, what do you I mean? Was. Go ahead. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just tipped it, your hand. Yo, 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 come at me. Go ahead, go ahead. Up right oh, bro, now. you oh. not you not ducking the allegation, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. He Rock said that on so, camera, too. So I was like, damn, bro. The local celebrity rapper recently gained more plaques. Yes. One for volume two and the other one for the blueprint. One yeah. making it oh, six wow. times platinum and the mm. other one three times platinum. Mm. You know, not bad for a local celebrity guy who's not listened to outside of new york you know and I, I usually i pass it off but i'm gonna talk a little shit yeah I, I see what's going on on twitter i i see all the comparisons with Nicki minaj who's the bigger artist and he's not he's not valid without beyonce he was a nobody i can't pick 10 you know i seen a squid games meme that said pick <laughs> pick 10 songs from jay-z right now or you die oh, and all this wow. and that and i'm like the stats are there yo man i, I reiterate it he was the biggest star in Beyonce when they started their relationship. As much as y'all don't want to hear that, he was. You think you think Beyonce just went to Marcy one day, closed her eyes, it was him and Bleak, and she just said, <laughs> I'll take that one. And then looked and it was Jay-Z. You, it was a business decision and, and love. Yo. She could stand next to this rich motherfucker. Yeah. What are you talking about? Nick was like, please don't take me. <laughs> oh, it's like, what man. do you think happened here? You know what I'm saying? I'm getting real tired. Even some of y'all in the chat, y'all get mad and y'all, y'all keep saying horse shit like he doesn't age well and he's not this and he's not that. I hear Yet that. an album that's almost 30 years old just went yeah. six times platinum. I don't know how that happened. Somebody went back and bought it and did the knowledge. Hey. Blueprint triple. Then we got niggas like Mike D saying shit about Kanye West and what Kanye did for Jay-Z. Mike D, well, I'm going to cook you when we talk. <laughs> because there's nothing to support any of the bullshit they say of or you have said about fucking Jay-Z. In fact, you are the, the opposite of sin when it comes to being a fake fan. You are the fakest Jay-Z. I'm taking it from you, D. Uh, Mike D, you are the fakest Jay-Z fan oof. I've ever come across. My curse is my You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But on April 24th, we're going to get into that. Wow. No matter how much y'all try to spin this Thanks. narrative, no matter how much y'all try to create this illusion that he was a flash in the pan, Milli Vanilli ass nigga, <laughs> he did, like he said, he did it with digits and the, the digits continue to pile up and you motherfuckers can eat all the dirt you want because he's gonna keep winning and y'all just gonna be mad. Okay. Farouk, I don't give a fuck. You can call me corny as much as you want. The stats are there, six times platter. Some guys can't don't even have half the plaques he got. I ain't gonna call no names, but some guys don't have half the plaques he has get your numbers up when you start creating these allures and illusions of greatness and 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 runs that make him greater than and all other bullshit it ain't real what's real is the stats men lie women lie numbers don't hey go ahead son <laughs> Oh, now, now we going by the numbers? <laughs> now we going by the numbers? Strictly by the numbers? Is that what we doing? Yep. <laughs> That's a shame. That's Imagine a shame. public. Yeah, I the, think. You know what you say is the machine? No, Fuck you, out of here no, that no, no. You too. know what I think? I think. I think every night when they go to bed, over Beyonce, Jay leans over to Beyonce. is like, yo, don't forget to put my records on repeat. Uh, <laughs> and I run them yeah. numbers up. Uh, and I keep wow. up appearances. Oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> man. Wow. <laughs> Nasty. Wow. Like, hey, you, baby? Get rid of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nah, nah, nah. Wow. All right, all right. All, right. all jokes, all jokes aside. I want problems always. All, all jokes aside. Now you um, meant that shit, huh? You meant that. <laughs> <laughs> you meant that. It's okay. Um, nah. I mean, you know, I got my Nas T on today. You know what I mean? Repping for the God, but right. like. Again, you know what I mean? We always go back to this. It doesn't mean that I can't give Jay his You can flowers. fit all them plaques on that t-shirt, but go ahead. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Now, it, it, it ain't got to be like that today. Dude. It don't. You it right. don't. It don't. Right. Right. We're going we to go left. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, but yeah, no, shots to, shots to volume two. You know, six times platinum now. The Blueprint, uh, three times platinum. Um, two excellent albums. The Blueprint, mm -hmm. an absolute classic. Um. Yeah, and it just kind of if it does fly in the face of people claiming that nobody listens to Jay anymore, <laughs> or 
his you know his music hasn't aged well mm. um i i think i i, I said this in in our uh in our live i'll mention it again i went to a concert during the dj set of the concert they played um you know uh, do it again uh, do it ag- no, no no not do it again um uh, i just want to love you oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah give it to me they play give it to me i just want to love you uh this was this was a show that was mostly f- probably like average age 30 to 32 somewhere around there the entire crowd knew the song word for word and was lit like so when when people say like nobody listens to jay anymore no nobody like enjoys those songs anymore they were only songs that were enjoyed in the moment it's only because of nostalgia and blah blah like that Kaka. doesn't it it doesn't hold up it never holds up bro um and this kind of you know this this flies in the face of that man like i i you know i always give it up i love i love jay not as much as i love Nas, but i love jay and jay you know jay did his thing has done his thing and keeps doing his thing you know, all respects do, all the flowers do. You know what I mean? Shouts to him. Nah, that killed you to say it. Huh? <laughs> nah, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Dini, your thoughts on six times platter, three times platter, out of nowhere? Hove did. Uh, uh I mean, checks off every box, man. Yeah. Like, Hove hasn't took an L since maybe like what? Since, since takeover, that's the last. That's the last L he's taken. Everything yeah. Hove does depends is, on who you ask. That is Solange true. might not think so. <laughs> <laughs> that, that elevator that is the, might not. No, no, that is the last L. Solange worked him in that elevator. Hey, boy. Man. Mink, 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 mink. <laughs> Hands on feet. <laughs> But yeah, y'all yeah. busy talking about music. Y'all, y'all be missing the real comedy. If they got beat up in the shit. elevator by his, his sister in law, y'all right. never talk about <laughs> That's that. That's comedy, not like. We talk you know? shit here. Yeah. Real shit happens. But I, I at mean, least they keep it consistent because that's outside of music. That's a fact. Yeah. Right. <laughs> But how do you come back from that? So just a quick aside, like like Beyonce was supposed to like divorce. He blocked him every hit though, because it's like I can't I can't get beat up in an elevator that just got to see you at, at Thanksgiving and shit. He Floyd Mayweather. I gotta call my cousin or something. I gotta get that fade back. And Joe, what you say? He should have been on the cover of his next album with a green dress in his hand. Oh, nah, shit. nah, yeah. <laughs> look, I'm a look, look. white suit. What the hell? Listen, look, what I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'm suit. just saying that Hope should have called one of his sisters. They got his fade back. That's oh, all I'm man. saying. I, I'm right. good. I'm right. I'm gonna get my conspiracy theorist on. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Because I, no, because I was looking at the photo the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody posted it, but for the like umpteenth time on Twitter, mm-hmm. and it was just such a perfect photo because like Solange's what demeanor the walking out. No, oh. co- coming out the whole. It was a hotel, right? Oh. Coming out the hotel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Solange's demeanor and her facial expression was like, like this perfect amount of anger. Uh, Beyonce was kind of confused, and then uh, you know you had Jay like holding his face. Meanwhile, like the amount of room between the elevator and the exit of the hotel, he's still holding his face <laughs> from the slap. No. You ever been slapped by no, angry woman this before? Is, right? No, this was a photo Jesus. op, bro. This whole thing was fixed. <laughs> oh, this whole thing the was up. scripted. The Jigger, and then man. and then you had the Solange and uh the the Beyonce and the Jay-Z album run. The shit was scripted. What kind of flows you got in your Fuck out of here. <laughs> checkerboard it. You got checkerboard flows in your <laughs> might have a little checkerboard in the corner yo, somewhere. Yo. But um this is this is this is um okay, what What's that? This is monstrous, bro. Like you you gotta die to do shit like this, to be honest, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this guy. <laughs> like, yeah. when you look at everyone who sells these type of numbers, like, why they still, who are they? They're like rock stars, bro. They're, they're, they're legends. Drake. <laughs> I mean, and Drake, Drake is today's rock star. So that that says that to me. He's the OVO team. We he's are. the embodiment of today's hove as far as like the, the guy, you know? It was always at least the guy, mm-hmm. you know? But yeah, like, this is, this is unprecedented, man. Like, with the exception of Escobar doing his thing in the cage, this is this might be the illest shit I've seen. Like, go down, man. Rap shit like thirty years ago. First, we got to think about when when the when the um volume two dropped ninety eight, bro. Almost what's the thirty five joints? Twenty five. Twenty five. For it to still it's gonna make twenty five in September. Yeah. Resonation, Dope. bro. Yeah. Like that's that's building that's building something with your fans. That's building something with your audience. And to do it this long later, that that's just building something with the people. The Hovis culture. Hovis culture. 
All right, Mace, what about you, bro? What do you think about the local celebrity rapper putting up these digits local in 2023? Celebrity. Local the, celebrity. The Jigger Man. Paris yeah, Bronx, interesting, remember? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> pa- Paris, Paris Ithaca. Right, Ithaca, New York. <laughs> Nigga in Ithaca, New York. Um, <laughs> I, I want... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, oh. Yo. Nah, you know, I w- congratulations to, to Hove. You know what I wow. mean? Like, <laughs> that's crazy. I want to, I want to, I want to mention that this is another. This is quite the accomplishment for a couple reasons, right? Uh, for a long while, Hove took the local celebrity rapper took his music off of streaming services. Mm-hmm. Title has like the least subscribers of all the big streaming services you know what i mean mm. so so when uh, he dropped 444 when he dropped a written <laughs> testimony i think he sold it to some some uh some you know mm-hmm. some guys mm-hmm. uh a few dollars. some of them some, some of guys. them mm. he sold it to them by now <laughs> but um you know what i mean by the, when when 444 dropped when when written testimony dropped a lot of whole music wasn't up on youtube spotify apple music a lot of places so the fact that you know he's you know he's thrown it on up there since then i think in the last couple years it's been in like mm-hmm. two years or few, so few years at least now. now right at least no a little more than i think two years. like maybe three um so so yeah. shouts to him you know what i mean uh like Dini mentioned like let's 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 talk about what six time six times platinum means you know what i mean um the, the diamond sellers, you know, in hip hop, we speak about Outkast, we speak about Pac, we speak about Biggie, all double albums, which count for two sales. Mm-hmm. So when you hear that diamond, you hear in five million actual mm-hmm. purchases. Mm-hmm. You know what Talk I mean? So it, we yes. have to remember, you know, of course they might be up to 11 and 12, maybe even 13 by now, but they're certified you, diamond. You, you also have M. M, right. I mean, the, the, the biggest, uh, yeah. Um, uh, so. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a uh, stimulus like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> and J- and Fifty, who was up Sorry, under Walter. M, you know Fifty, who was up under M. There's not a lot of people. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we gonna kind of crazy. Sorry, this. Walt. Every, there's at least one no, sorry got, Walt no, moment every episode. Put that Walt. on a t-shirt now, bro. Sorry, <laughs> Walt. I was not prepared for that. Walt, we love you, bro. We Yo, love Walt, you. Walt, y'all got, bro. Walt, y'all got, bro. Walt, God. Man, we fuck with you. So we want to talk about the fact that a lot of these, you know, all-time sellers are double albums. Sin mentioned M. There's 50 who went diamond on a single album. You know what yeah. I mean? Even the Tupac Greatest Hits is a double album. That's mm-hmm. Diamond 2. So we got to remember, six times platinum, volume volume two is probably up there in single sales with All Eyes, with, with Life After Death, with, with, with all the giant sellers that's not, you know, Eminem related. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so we got to give him credit. You know what I mean? There were multiple certifications that he got. We mentioned, y'all mentioned the blueprint three times plat. So we got to mention, like, in the same way, you know, with Jov, somehow I always uh, uh, bring LeBron in, in the local celebrity rap into the conversation. Yeah. I know Jov hates this. Yeah. But in the same way that, like, you know, people love to say, yo, LeBron is not a scorer, but he happened to be, like, the top scorer ever. No you know what I mean? Like, people don't, people, when you think about commercial, you know, commercially crazy rappers, you think Eminem, you think Lil Wayne, you think 50, you think DMX. Y'all always tell us all the people that was hotter than Jay Z. But yeah. when you look at the actual numbers, you know what I mean? It right. He's right on par with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna just say this thing here. I, I don't know. Were you finished, Mace? Because I, I cook, Joe. A lot this of guys. Is, this is up your alley, man. A lot of guys have like that one album, right? That does like crazy numbers. Right. The country grammars, the Get Rich or Die Trains, all the M- well, Eminem is the an anomaly. Debut. The Carter yeah. Three. Carter Three. These are big numbers. Mm-hmm. But how many people have that big album and still do consistently big numbers? over a long period of time and that's the thing when, when them in the chat some of y'all at least not the leroy greens of the world but the but the nas fans i'm gonna say it when we get into these arguments and the people who try to build these weird narratives on twitter most of them did have a bigger singular moment but how many of them did i right, country grammar did diamond they did three two three three two three close to four how many other rappers have done that yeah. that's been my question the entire time that's why i talk the way i talk about him because it's like he did his five at the time before it became six 
The next album was three. The next album was two. The next album was two. The next album was three. He still was hitting high notes. He still was super relevant. He didn't just have a 98 and then fell off gradually. Right. Everyone else had a massive year and then tailed off. Mm -hmm. The pie chart did this for a lot of them. Right. For pretty much everybody. Oh, he had a spike and then steady. Yeah. Why is that never talked about? Yeah, it's true. It's a fact. I can't, you know, you can't argue Let that. me know. It's like it Jay, Drake, and Kanye kind of got that type of shit going on. Drake, obviously, because of the super pop records he makes, but that's the only kind of, because y'all know I'm into the numbers. That's how I had, why I had to let y'all know that, you know, Doug Motivation wasn't what y'all thought it was. But, <laughs> oh, but, uh, you know, like, when nah, you I really, when it. you really dug into the numbers, like, it's like those three are really the dudes who, when you look at like seven and eight and nine albums that all did crazy numbers, you know what I mean? They That's all in guys. that conversation, yeah. And only one of them did it with bars, like, like, no disrespect, Drake, but like rapping, melody, production, bars. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like stri strictly bars. Yeah. Like, oh, shit, we're we're not, cooking. we're not saying that Drake can't rap. Yeah. We're just saying, right. Half the time he was not rapping. I know I'm. And that local guy, he, he's in Paris right now. You know, <laughs> shut, shut down. <laughs> How did that happen? Did Beyonce sanction Big that? Big dog shit. Paris? I thought he. I thought nobody listened to him outside of New York. Did he sign the permission slip? Must be. Because <laughs> because y'all keep telling me no one listens to this guy outside of New York. Big Gibbs said they don't rock with him in the South. Then and then Toom said that I was listening to, 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 to Reasonable in '96. So I'm confused. Can somebody help me? No? All right. We'll move on. <laughs> it's an accomplishment to get people to go back and listen to albums that people say didn't age well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, that's kind of crazy. 40 years later, bro. Yeah. All right, cool. Get no arguments from me. So. Shouts to Hope, though. Moving on to the next topic. celebrity rapper. <laughs> we have a thing that's going on. Now maybe it, hold on. So I'm sorry. Maybe I should argue because then they're gonna say that like I, I, that. I was like I was too, other, I was too lean. I didn't I didn't push back enough. Didn't push back oh, you gonna, gonna, gonna what was it? The heat rock. What? You gonna let him heat say Jay Z is the greatest rapper? Or, heat he rock. Want, he wanted to send to bring the thunder and brimstone. I want to get his name right because I don't, I don't want to disrespect because he showed us a lot of love with yeah, a pod. Yeah. But Mr. Heat Rock, I'm getting your name right now, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta find it. Yeah, he's rocking some numbers on that. Say right. Like I gotta argue more. Mr. Heat Rock yourself, because we couldn't find it. <laughs> you said he didn't want to, he didn't argue back, he don't push back enough. I'm going to tell y'all again for the thousandth time. There's plenty of recorded episodes of the Rap Roundtable in this room on Zoom. Go find it. Again, the final debate, Takeover versus Ether. If you have any questions about Sincere's allegiances, Takeover versus Ether, <laughs> the final debate. Shit, the shots he threw just at the beginning of this segment after I talked my shit, <laughs> it's always there. The, the basis of this show starts with a Jay-Z and Nas argument at work while trying to not get fired and arguing for an hour straight. This is a true story. Do the knowledge. And y'all need to tap in because I I, I, I do this. You know what I mean? I'm the Y'all know I'm the Drake guy. I'm the Lil Wayne guy. I'm the Tupac guy. I watch Sin and Job argue Jay and Nas and I don't say anything. I just let him say it so I can use it in the argument later. You guys <laughs> noticed this. So why would Close Sin like denigrate this? Because if Nas gets certified triple plat next week, then we just say, wasn't you just arguing against it? You got sometimes you gotta temper your yeah. arguments. You know what I mean? Listen, guys, y'all gotta be strategic. Play the long game. Yes. Y'all sound right, like so. jilted lovers sometimes. <laughs> Wow, Dini. It, that shit is crazy sometimes. Like, wow, I, I get it. We all love our favorite artists, but sometimes that shit is just like, come on, y'all. Like, it's, it's hip hop. Let's get it together, man. Dini, I think you need to do the knowledge, bro. Well, like, you gotta do the knowledge. <laughs> trying to kick knowledge? Facts. Like, y'all be acting great. like y'all be acting like y'all don't go to the barbershop and have arguments. That's that's what that's what bothers me the most. Fucking hip hop, man. What was the name of the episode? With the knowledge. No, I'm saying there goes the name of that. Ah, yes, the knowledge. knowledge. There you go. 